Howdy! What up? Mile High 6 here back in with a new video and today the Broncos shellac the Jets 26 to 0. Um, there's some negatives, you know. You say, Bondi, this is 26 to 0. There's some negatives and there was a lot of off field stuff. Let's get to it. Um, so, yeah. So the lead, yeah, these are all the stats here. Corey Davis, leading receiver for us. Tim Patrick, just over, just under 100 yards. Um, let's go to play by play and all the scoring plays, shall we? So first play, we just we stop him, and then we get to down the down the field, and Javante Williams gets his first touchdown of his career. Good job for Javante. Next play, the Jets defense holds us to a field goal. The Jets don't really do anything. And then at the end of end of the half, we get a touchdown. We get a touchdown. Nice rushing TD by Melvin Gordon. Kick a field goal. I think we. I think that's when we got the pick. It was a Justin Simmons interception. Then we kicked a field goal again. And then, or we were up twenty three to zero, and then we got the interception. And then we fumbled it. Javante Williams fumbled it. It was it was a rookie mistake. It didn't really matter. And then we kick another field goal. The um, the um, the complaint is we didn't score a touchdown in the second half. I know we we blew the game like wide open and we won it, but like too many touchdowns in the second half against good teams. You need to capitalize. You know, like like look at the second half quarter, second quarter. We got, all right, first half we got two touchdowns, 17 points. Second half, nine points. You can't do that against good teams. They will come back against them, against us. Like the Jets are not that good, to be honest. So, um, yeah, you look at the stats. Bridgewater did okay, not as good as his first two. So he's declining. He's declining every game. So that's kind of bad, I guess. I don't know. So 19 for 25, no picks. Played it safe, I guess. Uh, 235 yards. Gordon got a touchdown, good job. Javante got a touchdown, good job. But the fumble, yeah, it didn't matter. Didn't matter. Didn't really matter. We could have gotten our touchdown there, um, like a stat pad touchdown. But, you know, he fumbled it at the goal line, and the Jets got it back. And then, you know, we got the ball back anyway, so it didn't matter really. Bridgewater, 25 yards. Patrick, had a. he was one of the players of the game. He played very well, especially he got that deep catch. At the end, even though it didn't matter because Javante fumbled at the goal line. Corlin Sun had 35 points. I mean, 35 <laughs> yards. Javante had 33 yards. He had a couple dump passes to him, and he got there. KJ Hamler, he's hurt. I hate that. Too many injuries for this team, man. Gordon Fant had 15. He didn't really do that good. O had 6 yards. Spencer had minus 3. I don't know why. Yeah, and Javante got the fumble. And then Deshaun Phillips had the f recovery. I don't know who got the force I because ESPN's website sucks. Um, yeah, he had the fumble at the end. didn't really matter. Look at the uh, defense. Uh, Johnson played very good. He had two QB hits. What was that? Penalty? PD. I don't know what PD is. Two QB hits. Two tackles for loss. And he had a couple deflections too, so he played very well. Sertan played well. Um, he had that nice breakup at the end against Corey Davis, I think he was covering. So he played very solid. Malik Reed had a sack, two quarterback hits. We hit the quarterback way more than last game. Justin Sternad didn't really do that much. Vaughn Miller had a sack and a sack tackle for loss, two QB hits. Uh, Shamar Stefan didn't even know us, and we got QB hit. Shelby Harris, he did something finally. He got a sack. He got a tackle for loss. QB hit. Kane Stearns, he got an interception. Let's get it. It didn't show right here, but he had a. He didn't have any QB hits. Obviously, he's a safety. Kareem didn't really do that much. Justin Simmons, he had that missed tackle at the end that pissed me off. Draymond Jones, did he have a QB hit? No. Uh, Purcell, he had some nice pressure. Cooper didn't do that, anything. Deshaun Williams had a QB hit. So nine QB hits, so that's way better than last week. Two picks. Kane Stearns at the end, the tip ball, and Justin Simmons to seal the deal with that interception. And then, uh, yeah, special teams didn't really fuck up, so both special teams didn't do that much. McManus, 4-4-4. Four, four, four. And then Thomas Mostert, he had a kick. 
he would have had a field goal if it wasn't for his team, like taking a delay of game penalty. So they would it wouldn't have been a shutout if they had the delay of game penalty. Like the, but they took too much time. As for the Jets, didn't really do that much. Mm, Corey Davis had the most receiving yards. Then really, Barrios had a nice catch. I think it was like twenty something yards. He had a nice catch at the end. Didn't really matter. Uh, I didn't even know they had Tyler Croft. Like their team's not really that deep. Michael Carter nine carries, twenty four yards. Ty Johnson three carries, seventeen yards, forty three yards. Forty three yards uh, rushing is pretty solid, and we rushed for tw- one hundred twenty one because it's running back by committee. On our team, because we split in the carries, we'll have like a bell cow back until Javante's ready. Obviously, he fumbled today, but you know, it didn't matter. It's not like it was a crucial part of the game. And Zach Wilson, poor guy, he got sacked five times uh, through two picks. One was his fault, the other one, like his, his receivers have butterfingers. You know, Zach Wilson, I don't know, man, the Jets may kill this guy. Um,. You know, even if he's talented enough, like the Mikel Becton wasn't there, so that was a factor. Maybe he wouldn't have gotten probably half the. Maybe he would have been sacked like three times instead of five. He wouldn't have been hit more. He wouldn't have been nine QB hits. He wouldn't have got hit nine times, maybe. But like you never know. We had injuries too to our guards. KJ Hamler's out. We need to sign a receiver and some guards. Hopefully, we get Michael O back to next week and Mike Boone, so we can like. You know, get some our starters back. Like, you know, the injuries was bad, but we got the win, and we got the Ravens next week. That's our true test. You know, the other games, you know, the rest of the AFC West. Well, how about them Chiefs, huh? The rest of the AFC West cupcake schedule. Oh well, we play our schedule. I thought we were gonna go two and one. We went three and zero. Oh. Good job by Vic. Undefeated in the month of September, and then October hits. That's when it gets colder, and that's where the Broncos should thrive because they're in mile high. The stadium was nice. How many times did I have to chant incomplete during my live stream? It was too much, man. It was awesome. I was so happy for the win. Um, you know, they uh, they overperformed, so it was pretty good. I know the Jets are bad, but, yeah, like, they got the running game going, 121 yards. That's way better. The passing game, didn't, they didn't have to use the passing game that much. Like, they didn't really have, outside of Tim Patrick, Tim pa- we don't have a guy who had 100 yards. Same with the Jets, because we, you know, they suck. Elijah Moore, he's a good young talent. I don't know where Sims at. I think Sims is hurt. I don't know. Keenan Cole, Cole, he used to play for the Jags, I think. So, yeah. Um, overall, I thought, pretty good game. I think the player of the game should go to one of these running backs. Even though Javante fumbled, they rushed for over 100 yards combined. I mean, they rushed for 100 yards combined, plus Teddy and Crockett's, like, Mickey Mouse, 7 yards. And then Tim Patrick, obviously, on defense. Give it to Alexander Johnson, two sacks, two QB hits, a pass deflection. Oh, PD's pass deflection. I'm so retarded. Five pass deflections. So Callahan had a pass deflection. Simmons had a pass deflection and a pick. Stearns had a pass deflection and a pick. And... Yeah, Sertan had that pass deflection against uh, Corey Davis. So, like, good game. Not gonna keep my hopes. Well, not. I should keep my hopes up. Like, we're we're gonna we're tied for number one in the division. It's very early still. Week three. This team, you know, it's solid. Like, I can't say it's that it's bad, but they have to keep competing. They have to play good against these good teams, and they have to win at least like a few of those games against good teams, man. Like. The easy schedule is over. Like we don't play all easy team to like Detroit. I think, like it depends on like who who has injuries and stuff. That's always a factor. Um, but I'm happy they got the W today. It was it was well deserved. Everyone played very solid. It's just the injuries suck. Um, I'm gonna again. I'm giving my player my offensive player the game. To the running game, the running backs, both of them, even Javante, he had that fumble, but again, it didn't matter. And then Patrick, number two, and then, no, no, I'll put, all right, I'll put the running backs, number one, then I'll put Johnson, number two, and then Patrick, number three, in my opinion, for the best players. And then the def- two defensive, like, like Simmons, outside of that pick, he didn't really do that much. He had a pass deflection. He had, I think, did he have a tackle for loss? I don't know. 
No, he didn't. I thought he did. Draymond Jones had a tackle for loss, so that's good for him. He actually did something today. Uh, Noah Fant probably had the worst game. He had a few penalties, man, that caught a few penalties, but I think he'll get back to the things. The tight ends didn't really do that good because they were just blocking. They didn't catch the ball. We ran the ball very well, and that's what I like. Hopefully, we can run the ball good against the, uh, the Ravens and mix shit up. Hopefully, we get a receiver by then because we can't just – if KJ is going to be hurt, He's gonna if he's gonna be out for a few weeks because we have to sign a receiver. John Brown, um, what's his name? Josh Gordon, one of those guys, man. We need to sign a receiver, a veteran receiver out there because it's gonna be, you know, he can't put Kendall Hinton out there. He can't like, and KJ had that nice catch and then he gets hurt. That sucks. That sucks, man. That sucks. He had that nice clutch catch. And it was he got wide open and then he gets hurt. Judy's hurt. He's not going to be back till like week six, maybe. So, yeah. It sucks. But we got the W. That's all that matters, man. Again, that, that's all that matters. Rambling and all that shit doesn't matter. Got the W. On the next week, the Ravens. That's going to be tough. I know they didn't play that good against Detroit. But Lamarzo was tough. Mark Andrews, this is the first time we're going to face a good tight end. A very solid, elite tight end. The running game's doing very good with Williams. Uh, the receivers suck because they keep dropping the ball. So that, that may be a factor in the next game. Yeah, the altitude makes them drop the balls. Um, yeah, it's going to be tough against Lamar, but hopefully we get the job done and keep it close and win that game. But, hey, we'll see what happens. Everyone